What's up guys, Chris here back again with another market video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the overall market. We haven't done one of these in a few days, so I figured I would do this on the video today. Uh, we're going to be talking about Team Unanimity possibly this Friday, the market, how it's going to transpire over the next few days, a so, couple scenarios, what could happen, and you know how the market's going to respond on a Monday as well, and how to trade this week. I'm going to also talk about that with you guys before we get into it, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. That would be absolutely amazing. Make sure you guys get involved with all of the free trading Discord, the, the Twitter, the Instagram, all of that. Get involved with my content because it's all free and it all, it's all ways to help you guys out trade. So let me just show you guys what we've been doing. Just been quick flipping here. Uh, we bought a Joe Gomez before rewards at 15k with a shadow. He's just sold for 19. Um, we're seeing that typical squad battle rewards, market buyback. Golds are up a little bit. Uh, Sun's up a little bit. Rashford's up a little bit. Uh, Joe Gomez is up. Um, Mendy's up a little bit as well. So you're seeing that normal squabble rewards market rebound a little bit. Uh, what's going to happen to the market today is I would expect the market to rise today as long as we don't get significant content. Uh, if E is kind of just chilling out, we get a player SPC and just that's it. Then I can see the market doing pretty good on Monday. Um, as per usual, you, you get your flips in, uh, special cards, you'll be able to fluctuate your trade with them. They should be rising on Monday. Uh, just because no content means people can buy in, they're confident, and you should see stuff like that happening on the Monday. What I've been buying, I bought about 65 Sun cards with a Hunter at 38,000 coins. Now, why did I do that? Well, if you look at the Bruno Fernandez graph from last week, this guy was out of packs, okay? So because Bruno was out of packs, people went and invested in him. So let me show you guys his graph. So last week he went from, and he was inflated on Sunday, but he was going to go higher because he's out of packs, obviously. So on Sunday, he was 79K, but again, he went low as 76. So you were able to get this guy at 75, 76 on Sunday, and then he went all the way up to 87 by uh thursday so he did pretty good out of packs now i think people are going to be looking at sun and because he got bought up by the way sun did get bought up to forty-four thousand coins on friday so i think that people are going to be buying into this guy as the week goes on and i think there's also a little bit of a shout to say that people are going to uh invest in him not only because of his he's out of packs right now but because he might be getting a team of the year nominee this friday as well that could make the market uh or people invest in this car and that's why i'm so confident that this guy rises this week and i bought them all at 38 38.5 and i'm already covering tax on the cards so i like it as an investment i bought 65 of them i think he'll do well i'm gonna lazy sell at like 45 ish uh over the next few days and i think i'm gonna be able to get 45 actually on his lowest price i think so i think he goes to 44 45 ish and then I'll up the lazy buyers to 46, 47. But I have a hunter on each card because it's easier to sell for lazy buyers. And when you ever invest here, here's a little bit of a tip. If you're ever investing in a in a inform or a gold card, whether it's a forward, whether it's a cam, a CDM, a center back, a right back, whatever the case may be, make sure you get the chem style that is most efficient on that card. If it's a cam, if it's a striker, if it's a winger. Get them with hunters. If they're right backs, center backs, CDMs, those kind of players, get them at with a shadow. And it's easier to sell for lazy buyers. It's easier to take. Maybe if you're, you know, for whatever reason you're making a loss on the card, you're able to like kind of break even a little bit because you do have the hunter on the card itself. So that's kind of like what I've done. Uh, in terms of, you know, like I said today on the market, I expect, you know, the market to rise today. As long as we don't get crazy content and i think that's going to be the you know the whole week right if we don't get really much content i expect the market to do pretty good this week um you look right there on joe gomez he's looking like he's at least 70 17k this guy was 15k before awards so he's having his typical uh rebound um that he normally has furla mendy was as low as like 27 28 today uh he's now up at like 30k i believe yeah he's about 30,000 coins at least um and this is what happens every single every single week with squabble awards people are just so used to buying cards um after squabble awards and this has been happening since fifa 18 and this will continue to happen where if you guys can get good prices on golds you could probably make some money on that stuff now something that's not working out for me is this Verratti. uh Verratti right now for some reason i bought two at 100k with a hunter he's like 99k right now 
So I don't really know what's going on with this one. He's getting sold off quite massively right now. But uh, I'm hoping that at some point on Monday, I'm able to sell that card for 110. Uh, make a couple K a card there. Um, and yeah, like I said, as long as there's no content, we should see a market rise, a healthy market, a, a market that's confident in buying. Um, some of the things that I could expect to rise more today as well. Um, if you look at like the La Liga stuff, right? Players that are needed for the Gwedish SP, the Gwedish objective this week is something you could see rising. So, um, Job Felix was like 3.4 last week. Uh, if I look at the graph today, he went from 2000 here all the way up to 2.4. He dropped to 2.2. Now, Job Felix, because of the objective, is not necessarily going to ever go under 2. Point or 2000 coins. So, for me, like, I could definitely see this card because of what we've seen in the past where people are doing objectives during the week so they're going to be more prone to be buying these type of cards because they're you know you could do objectives with them so the Militao's, the jao felix the venetius the rodrigo right as long as they and that's a hunter and a cam by the way can i get that no i was gonna get that that was not bad actually for a nice lazy flip but if you look at the objectives and you look at gwittish here um where is the milestone right it just uh it just came out. Wait, is it the EFL or is it actually in here? Oh, it's a La Liga League player. You win 15 matches using La Liga players. Score 30 goals using La Liga players. 20 assists with La Liga. Scrots on the box in four separate games with La Liga. And score a finesse goal using La Liga players. So what's going to happen is the La Liga lower tier market is probably going to rise today. Like I said to you guys, the Jao Felix market, the Vinicius. Like the players that are going to be like meta, that are like low tier... Um, I would expect them to rise today a little bit, uh, like we've seen in past weeks, right? If you look at Vinicius today, he's currently up at like 2.3, 2.4, right? You'll probably see a little bit of a rise in those uh, today on Monday. Um, and you guys can probably tech out Vion with those cards too. Like they should, they should be pretty stable to the point where if you snipe underneath them, you should be able to sell them for more with a Hunter or a Shadow, depending on what position you're looking at. How are you going to trade this week? Well, there's a couple different ways you guys could trade this week. One way is Silver. Silvers from the Premier League are doing absolutely phenomenal. Uh, because the SPC is so doable, this filter right here is so insane to use uh, right now. I would definitely get involved with this. And also mass bidding on Silvers as well. Um, especially around the content drop is really good. Silvers that go for like four to five to 6,000 coins. You can make a lot of profit by just getting them on bids cheaper. And same with cards like this as well. They're trying to get them underneath their current price um, is what I would be trying to look at in terms of sniping filters, in terms of bidding as well. You guys can do that. Um, I would also be looking at fluctuation trading this week. So, you know, for example, I'm going to show you guys uh, Malikovic Savage. Now, let me show you guys Malikovic Savage on like his little fluctuation. His SPC is no longer available, I believe. So if you look at this card, right, he's on the way back up. And, you know, the market should go up today, right? As long as there's no, you know, loading screen, there's no insane content, you should, see, you should see the market go up. So you see his, you know, his fluctuation, 59K to 64.5, down to 61, back up to 65. He then dropped down again to 62. Um, and he's not that far away from being a 65,000 coin card. And what's great about this card is you can get a lot of lazy buyers on it. So what I look at doing here is I just try to see if I can find a 60 and under and I'm flipping at 65 all day long. So unfortunately, I did not get a 60 on this one. But if I look at the supply to 65, there is how many? Let's see. There is literally none. He's actually up. OK, there's one right here at 63.5, which should sell. You can also chem style trade with these cards as well. You can look at them with shadows and hunters. You can get lazy sellers on them as well. You can uh, maybe list them a couple K above the current price to get lazies. And, you know, the, here's the chem style filter I'm, I've showed you before. You go 10.2, 10.7, special, and shadow. And this last filter, by the way, this last one right here could be anything. Um, it's these first three that you have to keep consistent. This one could be anything. This That one right there is just trying to adjust the price so you can refresh the filter sometimes. But you look right here, there is only one player over the hourly, which is like what you want. So you see this right here at 20.5. This you could probably sell for 23 because of lazy buyers. But this filter is really good because you could just find new ones popping up every single time. And you can make money by doing that because you don't just get your normal 500 coin undercuts. You get like three to four to five key undercuts on these cards. 
sometimes as they get kicked out of by by ea sports um so that filter is gonna be very good remember you can only have one player or less over the hourly if not that refresh filter does not work and that goes for anything by the way to snipe quicker you can have one player listed above the hour and you can snipe on that card and it will give you the new card the second you refresh it it'll be a quicker way to snipe um let me just re resell all my stuff here just gotta keep listing for lazy buyers obviously throughout the week and uh another way to make coins this week is probably going to be the 10 20 30 method we've talked about that in the past 10 20 and 30 um i actually just did this before but i got this on bid at 18 point or 18k flat and i sold it for 20. that's just one of those ways to make coins with the 10 20 30. uh you find this filter 10 20 and uh 30. and yeah there's some competition obviously but you just go through the the different types of cards on the market and you look and see if you could find bids on them from where they've been selling at um over the day and you do it based on fluctuations you don't do it just on what their current price on the market is at that moment you have to look at fuppin while doing this method because it's very very profitable if you guys use it so let me show you guys that a serbian why i bought it right so a serbia i bought him at 18 i saw him at 20 right now he's 20 he's 19k it looks like if you look at this, he goes from 18 all the way to 20.2, down to 18.5, back to 21, down to 18.7, back to 20, right? He goes to 20k multiple times of the day, which is good because I know that there's always a rebound in this card because he gets rare, because people want to use him, whatever the case may be, he gets into solutions, right? So I always go on the market and I just check and see what is his current supply. It looks like he's at 19k right now, right? 18.7. Again, if I find an 18 key on that 10, 20, 30 bid, right, I'm going to be able to sell this for 20. Because again, this guy gets rare. There's only 12 cards between him and 20K. So, you know, and actually there's none listed at 20. Wait, is there any listed at 20K? No, they're all listed at 19. That's very weird. Um, So you could probably sell this for like 20.2 actually. But you get the, the gist of, of what I was talking about there. Um, Icons, I won't be doing too much on Icons um like i said if you guys are buying and selling cards fluctuations should do well this week if you are doing fluctuations we talked about malikovic just always be wary of 6 p.m 6 p.m they could drop anything that makes your cards drop a little bit whether it's an icon spc a party bag a team of the week tradable sp whatever the case may be right they drop anything that would make your your cards drop a little bit that is always a possibility so just if you are buying and selling cars through fluctuation trading through silvers whatever the case may be if you're day trading get out before six and then you can go back in on stuff obviously after it um when it comes to obviously the top tier market everyone wants to talk about the top tier market right so you look at your neymars and your mbappes 877 for mbappe 675 for neymar we saw the brunt of the sell-off this week on the rashford market the pogba's the Mane's the De Bruyne's, the uh, Van Dyke's, the Salas, those type of cards got sold off the most today. Even Conte got down really bad this week, right? This is like this is going to happen to Mbappe and Neymar at some point. I think it could be next weekend. If we do get team leader nominees, then next weekend these guys will drop a decent amount. Last year we did get Neymar, um, you know, in the team leader nominees, but everyone is mistaken. Like, okay. If he's going in a pack surely he's going to go up in price it wasn't like that last year because the team of the year nominee version was so cheap it dropped the price of the gold card so he was 885 on december 12th he went all the way down to 790 um by december 16th he then rebounds to 820 but you know didn't really rebound as high as he was before that if you look at this 93 neymar right we just showed you that price he was about what like 880k right first day this guy is 1.8 million right in a couple of days this guy is down to 114 so 114 that like a name or special right a name or plus one on everything was only a few hundred k higher than the actual gold card and that's why a lot of people prefer the Neymar dynamic image the team of the year nominee they'd rather went and bought that card instead of buying the actual gold card so look at the price difference between a few cards this year we have Mbappe, who's down at 900k right now. This guy is 1.4 million lower 
than his record breaker. Yes, his record breaker is somebody that has a decent uh, shooting boost, but he's 2.38. And again, like I would probably rather just go by the gold card for the coin value. It's only a plus one on the card for overall. Um, and with the team of nominees, essentially that's going to be what you're going to be getting for 70 different cards on the market. So it's going to correct a lot of prices this Friday when that does happen. The market last year dropped like 15 to 20 percent on that Friday, and I could see it doing the same thing. Now, there is going to be more people that are seeing this coming this year, which could maybe not make the market drop as much as it did, but I do think that the market does drop because. 70 specials coming into the game at affordable prices because again they're not going to be doing like two percent pack weight this is going to be like 10 percent because there's so many different players getting uh team leader nominee cards and we don't even know for a fact if we actually are getting nominees but if we do this is the this is going to be a really bad sell-off uh next week which is where you're going to be seeing a decent price for neymar's gold card for mbappe's gold card and hopefully by that time we have a clear like kind of timetable is when is team of the year going to be because once we know that date i think that's going to be a decent time to buy some of these uh top tier meta golds as well and we'll talk more about that kind of market because i know that's what you guys want to look at but that was kind of like what we're going to be looking at for the market this week like i said you guys can trade i think monday the market should rise as long as we don't get insane content that goes for any day really um thank you guys for watching the video today i appreciate it come subscribe if you're new around here talk to you guys in the video soon peace out